The Irish Gala this year is Standby by Rob and Ronan Burke, and it stars Brian Gleeson, um, who people will know from The Stag and other movies, and Jessica Parry, who most people will know uh, primarily from, from Mad Men. And that'll be, that'll be the world premiere, actually, will be happening. And the cast will be here, and you know, we need everyone in Cork to come out and make a big fuss of having the premiere here in the Opera House. Maybe the biggest Cork movie event uh, that's in the program is a short film called Rock Mount, out of what would an 11-year-old Roy Keane be like if the old Roy Keane's personality uh, occupied the 11-year-old boy's body. It's only a bit of running around after the ball, like, how dare you! When we put the big screen up in the Opera House, it's the biggest screen in Ireland, and so it will be an astounding experience to go and watch that movie on projection on that scale. And the British Film Institute has released an all-new digital print of it, so it's going to look like it was shot yesterday. Bjork by Philly Live, co-directed by Nick Fenton and Peter Strickland, is a concert movie uh, after a fashion of the great lady in Alexandra Palace in London. But Biophilia was a very unusual project where each track of the album, in inverted commas, was released as an interactive uh, app for iPad. So to unlock the music you had to engage with the technology that the, that the app had provided. The concert then is the app live on stage, effectively, and also a heavily costumed dramatic presentation of some of the um, concepts and obsessions even of that album project by Ophelia, and some very fantastic imagery and uh, creatures um, brought to life on stage in the concert. I'm very proud to be playing um, Charlie's Country as the opening gala by Rolf Tahir. Good day, Luke. Good day, Charlie. You white bastard. You black bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful movie for a start, and I I like a. Um, opening night film, especially to uplift an audience and send them euphoric into the festival. Um, and Charlie's Country does that um, um, in spades. Um, it's quite unlike anything most people will have seen, really. It's a, it's not a documentary and it's not a straight drama. It, is a, it, it has a contrived story, but it is very much spun out of the real life of its lead actor David Goldhorn, who's one of Australia's most revered indigenous performing artists in any discipline. Sum up the festival in one sentence is to say, take the week off work.